And welcome everyone to Euler Asset of the Day for the 28th of January 2020, presented by myself, Phil Carr, at the Gold and Silver Club. So first of all, as we head into a fresh week here, what do you need to know? Oil prices over the last month, they've declined by over 14%. We've broken down as low as $52.50 per barrel. The biggest question we're getting right now is, is this sell-off a buy opportunity or are you vulnerable to catch a falling knife? So at the moment, what I would keep a very close eye on is this 52 to 53 US dollar per barrel handle. This has found support so far over the course of this week. If we do hold this zone, this has the potential to propel oil prices back towards 53 to 55 per barrel over the course of this week. So you want to watch out for buying evidence at this level. On the flip side of that, if oil continues to roll over, continues to be under pressure here, this is where we could actually fall as low as $50 per barrel. And of course, that is the lows from 2019, where we saw a lot of buying evidence come in. Now, be aware right now that the retail market has been a significant buyer of these dips. So essentially, many retail traders out there have been trying to catch the low. In fact, over 80% of retail traders are long oil at the moment. And of course, many have been caught out on the continued decline with oil prices. They continue to hold their positions in drawdowns and they're looking for the bottom to come in soon. Often oil can continue to see this follow through until we hit very key levels, such as 50 US dollars per barrel. But again, we need to watch out for the update in narratives this week as well. We have the Federal Reserve, FOMC statement on Wednesday. That will be at 7 p.m. GMT. We have the oil inventories data on Wednesday as well at 3.30 GMT. The API data too on Tuesday evening at 9 p.m. GMT. And of course, the oil recount later on in the week. And you want to keep an eye on all of the narratives regarding the amount of headcount with respect to how many people have now caught the virus from China. So we continue to see that escalate each day and each time that number is going up or whether we see reports, additional reports of escalation in the number of countries who have caught the virus, this does tend to provide a little bit more negative sentiment to energy prices. But as soon as that sentiment starts to shift a little bit, that is where oil prices could start to catch a bid. At the moment, today, we continue to see oil prices hover between $52.50 per barrel up to 53. So we want to see whether oil can actually sustain a breakout above 53, then it can start make its way up to 55. But if it can't, and if it does continue to consolidate, then roll over, bear in mind the next major level for US oil is going to be $50 per barrel. We're keeping a very close eye on this over the course of this week. As we mentioned in our week ahead commodity report, which if you haven't watched that yet, I would definitely encourage you to take a look at We've been starting to look at derivatives such as gasoline, which is extremely oversold at the moment. And from a seasonal and cycle point of view, the energies tend to do very well as we go into February, March and April. Many energies often tend to bottom as you go into the beginning of February and they have significant gains in the second quarter of the year. But you want to be careful not to catch a falling knife and to time your entries very well. So other energies worth having a look at right now would be heating oil, gasoline, Brent crude oil and WTI crude oil. Watching out for all of the correlations here as well. And once we do start to see the lows get put in, this of course can really set up for some great buy opportunities as we go into the next quarter. But be careful not just to catch a falling knife. Be aware that many retail traders are trying to catch the low in the latest week and many have been unsuccessful in doing so. And as a result, they're getting stopped out or they're holding big drawdowns. And you want to make sure that you're on the right side of the trade, that you time your entries well. So again, look out for that buying evidence. Look at some of the derivatives in the market for the correlations. Keep an eye on Wednesday's FOMC statement, the oil inventories data this week as well, and the API data as well. So with that, that's been oil asset of the day. And of course, I wish you good trading.